good to see you all on the channel, listen to three very scary stories about truckers. In the desolation of a forsaken highway, framed by towering pine trees that whispered secrets to the restless wind, an extraordinary gas station stood in solitary vigil. Its neon sign flickered ominously, casting an eerie glow that painted the abandoned pumps and weathered facade in an ethereal light. It was at this haunting crossroad that William, a fatigued trucker embarking on an arduous cross-country voyage, found himself on an ill-fated night. His fuel reserves dwindling, he had no choice but to seek refuge at this spectral station, despite the disquietude that gnawed at his core. Stepping out of his vehicle, William was greeted by an icy breeze that sent shivers cascading through his weary frame, as if the very air carried whispers from unseen realms. Silence enveloped the surroundings, broken only by the distant howl of a lone wolf that echoed through the night. With trembling hands, William inserted his credit card into the slot, his senses heightened, anticipating any flicker of movement that might disturb the stillness. Just as he was about to retreat to his truck, seeking solace from the oppressive quietude, a voice pierced the darkness from behind, its chilling resonance sending a surge of unease coursing through his veins. Require assistance, stranger? The voice inquired, its timbre imbued with an otherworldly chill. Startled William turned, his gaze falling upon a figure materializing from the shadows, their features obscured by the dim illumination of the station's flickering streetlights. As the figure drew nearer, the contours of a gaunt and weathered face, accompanied by eyes gleaming with disconcerting intensity, came into focus. I'm fine thank you, William stammered, his voice betraying his attempt at composure. Yet the stranger persisted, their words laden with caution, You should not be here. This place, it harbors secrets. Before William could react, a dense fog slithered forth from the surrounding forest, engulfing the gas station in an impenetrable shroud of darkness. Panic surged within William as he sprinted back to his truck, only to find himself unable to start the engine or unlock the doors that would grant him escape. In a frenzy William pounded on the windows, his cries for help swallowed by the eerie howling of the wind. But his efforts proved futile he remained ensnared within the spectral confines of the gas station. Hours stretched on, each minute laden with fear and uncertainty, as William sat shackled within the truck's cab. And as the first rays of dawn pierced through the dissipating fog, the gas station vanished without a trace, leaving William stranded on the deserted highway, haunted by the indelible memories of a night ensnared by the supernatural. In the saga of Dean, a seasoned nomad of the asphalt arteries, his tenure etched in the annals of time, this voyage epitomized the mundane. His cargo meticulously ensconced within the metallic confines of his rig, embarked upon a dance with the wintry chill, the symphony of solitude echoing through the nocturnal ether. As Dean traversed the abyss of darkness seemed to deepen, a voracious maw devouring the stalwart sentinels of familiarity. A dense mist descended, a malevolent veil obscuring his vision like an ethereal specter, leading him astray at an unfamiliar crossroads. The hastened misstep, a fleeting lapse destined to steer the course of his destiny. The thoroughfare sprawled like an undulating serpent across the desolate expanse, its barren visage devoid of life save for the mournful aria of the zephyr. With each passing mile, Dean's pulse quickened, an unsettling disquiet permeating his essence as he grappled with the gravity of his inadvertent divergence. Yet the die had been cast, the road behind him consumed by the yawning chasm of nocturnal oblivion. His grasp upon the wheel tightened, his gaze darting feverishly in search of respite. Yet amidst the gloom, only the skeletal sentinels of arboreal specters loomed. As temporal boundaries blurred, Dean's psyche became a canvas for phantasmagorical apparitions, specters cavorting at the periphery of his consciousness. Was it fatigue or a more insidious force that lurked within the nocturnal abyss? Certainty eluded him, but one truth remained immutable, he was not alone upon this forsaken thoroughfare. Abruptly a cacophony shattered the stillness, a shrill discord reverberating through the void. Dean slowed, his gaze fixated upon the impenetrable abyss beyond the pain. And there, bathed in the pallid luminescence of vehicular enlightenment, she stood, a wraith enshrouded in darkness, her ocular orbs ablaze like smoldering embers amidst the gloom. With a guttural growl, she surged forth, her serpentine form contorting in an unholy manner as she drew nigh. In a frenzied panic Dean stomped upon the accelerator, the tires of his chariot spinning in desperation as he careened down the thoroughfare in a frantic bid for emancipation. Yet the apparition pursued him with relentless fervor, its unearthly ululations reverberating within his cochlea, drawing ever nearer with each passing heartbeat. Just as hope teetered on the precipice of oblivion, Dean espied a faint beacon upon the horizon, 
a sanctuary amidst the Stygian expanse. With renewed resolve, he urged his steed to its limits, the engine roaring like a primordial beast as he hurtled toward the distant luminescence. And as the first tendrils of dawn breached the horizon, Dean emerged from the shadows of the night, casting the nightmare into oblivion. Yet within the recesses of his soul, he knew that the horrors that lurked upon the untrodden paths of Winter's Eve would forever haunt his consciousness, an indelible testament to the enigmas that lie beyond the purview of mortal comprehension. Within the depths of the night, as the road stretched out before him like an abyss, Jacob a weary trucker, embarked on the final leg of his journey home. The comforting thoughts of a warm bed and the loving embrace of his family urged him onwards, each passing mile whispering promises of safety. Little did Jacob know that the hands of fate had a different plan in store for him that very night, weaving a tapestry of fear and mystery that would forever etch itself into his memory. As Jacob rounded a bend in the road, his headlights caught sight of a figure standing at the highway's edge. A woman pale and ethereal, her ghostly form swaying gently in the cool night breeze. Goosebumps erupted across Jacob's skin, prompting him to bring his truck to a halt, his heart pounding in his chest. Are you in need of assistance, ma'am? He called out, his voice trembling with uncertainty. The spectral woman turned towards him, her eyes vacant voids devoid of life. Her gaze as empty as the abyss, sent a chill down Jacob's spine, causing the hairs on the back of his neck to stand on end. Without uttering a single word, the ghostly woman began to approach the truck, her movements possessing an otherworldly grace. Panic seized Jacob, and his fingers fumbled for the door handle, struggling to grasp the cold metal. With a surge of adrenaline, Jacob managed to pry open the door and launched himself out onto the frost-covered ground. He sprinted into the darkness, his footsteps echoing through the silent night. Yet no matter how swiftly he ran, the ethereal woman was always there, her ghostly presence lingering just beyond his sight. Her mournful cries reverberated in his ears, driving him to the brink of madness as he stumbled through the enshrouded night. When Jacob believed he could run no more, he stumbled upon a weathered cabin nestled amidst the heart of the forest. With no other option left, he forcefully swung open the creaking door and stumbled inside, gasping for breath. As he collapsed onto the dusty floor, fear and confusion consumed Jacob's thoughts. What had he encountered on that desolate highway? And would he ever manage to break free from the clutches of the ghostly woman who pursued him relentlessly? The answers to these questions, concealed within the enigmatic fog of the unknown, would forever remain a haunting mystery, a chilling reminder of the delicate veil that separates the realm of the living from the realm of the dead. And for Jacob, the memories of that fateful night would forever haunt him, a terrifying encounter with the supernatural that could never be erased from his mind. Want more stories? Write in the comments.